Hello friends and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Rays of Hope, coming from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. And there's just not a better place to find that ray of hope than in the light of God's holy and precious word. Let me invite you to pick up your copy of God's Word today. Turn with me, if you will, over to the book of 1 Thessalonians. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. Today we'll be looking at verse number 24. Get that good, fresh cup of hot coffee. Let's sit together, have a wonderful encounter with God and His precious Word on this beautiful day. My goodness, there's just not a better way to start a brand new day than fresh coffee and a wonderful fresh word from the pages of God's Word. Well, friend, over in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 24, the Bible says, Faithful is he that calleth you who also will do it. Faithful is he that calleth you who also will do it. And, and friend, I pray that God will add his blessings to the reading of that wonderful word today. Today, friend, I want to bring to you a thought that is titled, God Holds On to Us. God Holds On to Us. You know, sometimes, friend, uh, whenever I hear people share their testimony or uh, share in a word of prayer, and right in the midst of the prayer or in the testimony, they'll make a statement like, uh, Lord, I just want to hold on. I just want to hold out and be faithful to the very end. God, help me hold on. Help me hold on to you. Well, I think I know what they mean whenever they pray that. But I always smile just a little bit because I have the following picture in my mind. I can just see uh, the ark and Noah and his entire family holding on to some slimy pegs sticking out on the side of the ark rather than being on the inside of the ark. They're holding on to the outside of the ark. And Noah says to his wife, Darling, pray for me that I'll just hold out and be faithful to the end. Friend, he would have never made it. But God said to Noah, Come thou into the ark. Now, I like that, friend. Uh, some of the more modern versions take that out, and I like the way the King James words it there. Jesus uh, is so present in the King James Version. But God says here, Come thou into the ark. Now, you know, friend, if you come to my house and uh, I'm outside of the house, I'm going to say, go on in, go on in. But if I'm inside of the house and you knock on my door, I'm going to say, come into the house. Well, friend, that just lets me know right there that God was already aboard. He was already in that ark before Noah and his family got in there. Come thou into the ark. Glory to God. Boy, I tell you what, that excites me. God is always going to be inside the vessel that accepts him as Lord and Savior. Thank God that he'll do that. Now, when Noah came in, God shut the door. The same God that shut the water out shut Noah in. Now, Noah may have fallen down inside the ark, but he never fell out of the ark. And friend, I want you to know that when you get saved by the grace of God, it's God that holds on to you because you don't have the power to hold on to God. I'm so thankful and grateful that God reached down his wonderful and marvelous hand to me. And friend, when I put my hand in his hand, he held on to me. Friend, let me tell you something. We can do all we want to do to try to hold on, but I'm so grateful that I serve a God that's holding on to me. Because, friend, without him, we can do nothing. Think about that. Pray with me. Father, thank you for this powerful devotion that reminds us that you are holding on to us 
And may we never forget it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Well, friend, I do pray the devotion has been a blessing to you today. And uh, I pray that God will use it in your life. I, I know that you want to think that, hey, I've got to hold on to God. But friend, if you've been saved by the grace of God, it's God that's holding on to you. Remember, you don't have the power to do anything without him. But oh, as he holds on to you, he makes a difference in your life. God bless you today. Hey, you make a difference in someone else's life today. Your life could be the only Bible they'll ever see or hear from. So let others see and hear Jesus in all you say and in all that you do. Again, God bless you. Have a great day today.